Hello, everybody. How about we start off with Nordstrom Rack first? I found some really great makeup deals on their site. And what I like about buying um, discounted makeup from Nordstrom Rack is nothing has been picked over, opened, tried, you know, none of that stuff that you might run into when you go into a store that sells um, discounted makeup. You get the actual new products <laughs> that haven't been opened, but you get them at a deep discount. No. All right, first off, I've been wanting to try the Smashbox foundation stick with the um, with the contour on one end and the foundation on the other. I wanted to try it forever, but it's kind of expensive. But in Nordstrom Rack, it was like 16 I think, 16 or $17. I got shade 4.1 with the soft contour. And this is what the foundation looks like. Let's see how much you get in here. Because this, this little stick was quite expensive, you know. Well, you know, $17. I'll, <laughs> I'll give it a try. <laughs> so there's the stick. Nice and creamy. The texture is very nice. And on the slanted end is the contour. I like that because if they were both flat, you know, I would have to actually look at it every time trying to determine where the contour is versus the foundation or I'd have to open it and then you know but with the slant you always know which side is which <laughs> and there is the contour that's all the way up and oh wow that's a pretty dark contour too Okay, that'll work. So, I'll put this back in the box for now. Because I have other foundation that I'm using right now. Speaking of foundation. Bobby Brown. I've never tried her foundation before. I have a um I have a little palette that has some um that has a, some of her stick foundation and some contour highlighter stuff like that. But I've never actually had a bottle of her foundation before. This foundation retails for $50. That's why I never tried it. <laughs> That's too expensive for me. <laughs> to me for one, you know, one ounce of foundation, $50. It's is a bit steep but it was marked down to 19.97 so i said okay i i can try it now <laughs> and this is in the shade 6.5 warm almond i chose this shade because of the compact that i have the um the stick foundation is warm almond this is what the foundation looks like my hand that's a kind of a strange smell but it's okay there it is on my hand. Oh. Okay.
Looks like a good match. Have two more face products. Something else I've never had a chance to try before. Some Laura Mercier pressed powder. This one is a translucent setting powder. It comes with a little sponge. And there is the powder. It has a mirror in here too. So that's the powder. All right. And the last face product that I got was only five dollars and sixty something cent it was supposed to be in compact form but i imagine they ran out of the compact and so they replaced it with a liquid this is a mac prep and prime cc color correcting i thought the compact was kind of interesting but since they didn't have any more this is in the shade recharge which is supposed to be for deeper skin tones. It's a little bit orangey, kind of like a dark peach. And it's a color corrector. See, there it is. It looks kind of yellow in this light, but it's actually a little bit peach, like a dark peach. And it blends in. Oh, it dries quickly. That's good. So, I will use the liquid since I don't have the compact. <laughs> but this, I believe there's a lot more in here. I think this will last a lot longer than the compact would have. And so, you know, it's a good substitution for $5 and 60 something cents. <laughs> when it was normally, whoa. A lot more than that. And I got some eyeshadow palettes. I got the Urban Decay Nocturnal. Actually, I bought two of these. They were $16. I got one for me and one for my daughter. So, here's the box. And it has a mirror on it that says beauty with an edge. Let's see if I can show you. And these are the colors. Oh. Oh. Looks like the black one got slightly slightly damaged. I guess that happened in transit. It's a little bit cracked, if you can see that. See? But that's all right. My daughter's, the one I gave my daughter was perfect. Didn't have any cracks. All right. And the last item from Nordstrom <clears throat> is this Lorac Unzipped Mountain Sunset Palette. Now, I do remember the price of this one was $42. But this one was also $17 on Nordstrom Rack. <laughs> so, that's why I decided to try it. I heard good things about Lorac from other um, YouTubers raving about the formula and the eyeshadows. But I didn't want to spend $42 just to try it out to see if I like it. But $17 is reasonable. Oh. There's also a little tube of eyeshadow primer in here. That's nice. And this is the palette right here. And the shadow, look at the box, the way it opens. That's cute, isn't it? 
Okay, and there are the shadows. Okay, from Nordstrom, let's move on to Sephora. See what I treated myself to from Sephora. Actually, I placed two separate orders for Sephora so that I could get the best discount. Because they had the 20% off sale, but you know on their website you can only use one code at a time. I placed one order with the 20% off, and I placed another order where um, I used the code to get two of the little bottles of perfume with my $25 order. Or the $35? $35 order. Okay. So, let's do that one first. For the $35 order, I bought two little Mademoiselles from Fenty Beauty. Believe it or not, this is my first Fenty Beauty purchase. So, I decided to try it when I had the, uh, when I could get the free perfume and stuff. So it's two little matte lipsticks in here. I haven't taken these out yet. We got Spanked and Griselda. So this one is Spanked. A little mini lipstick. That's Spanked. Kind of a rose pink, a dark rose, and this is Griselda. Wow, that's very dark. Put that on. Oh, it's a deep berry color. Okay. They feel smooth on my hand. I hope they feel nice and smooth on my lips, too. Okay. The other item, I got this for my daughter. She likes this um, Josie Moran Argan Oil. So I got this one for her because with the Mademoiselle's at $19 and this is $16, it came to $35. And so I was able to get I got the Dolce Garden from Dolce & Gabbana and the Prada Candy. And they come in the cutest little bottles. You have to see this. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> With the little bow. Let's see if it goes up there. And they smell really good, of course. And this is the little Prada bottle. So I'll add these to my little perfume bottle collection. And for the next order where I used my 20% off VIB discount, I got this uh, Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray in the mini size. Because I just want to try it. I like a lot of Living Proof products, so I wanted to give this a try too. It had really good review. And I got this Shiseido Facial Cotton. If you've never used these before, wow, you'll be amazed. I really love them. They're very soft, thick, and in fact, let me see. The only thing I don't like is that you can't reseal the, the bag, but I'll have to put them in something that I can reseal. 
But if you've never tried these, trust me, you will love them. They're so much nicer than just the regular little cotton balls. It doesn't even, there's no comparison, really. <laughs> They're very nice. Okay, and I got, um, the last thing was, oh no, not the last thing, one of the other things was this um, hourglass ambient lighting bronzer in the mini. This is radiant bronze light. And it looks like that. That's lovely. I think I'll put some on my face. I like it. Okay. And one other thing. I went ahead and got another one of these lid and uh, eyeliner primer. Five bucks, you know. <laughs> and this stuff is amazing. It works really, really well. It's a powder, but it's like a creamy, well, it's a powder, but it's not powdery. And you can put it on to set your uh, liquid primer or instead of liquid primer. And it works great. It keeps your eyeshadow on all day. No creasing, anything. This is this is really good. And it's only $5. So whenever I'm shopping for stuff from Sephora, I usually just toss one of these in the cart because, you know, I do use it every time I wear eyeshadow. Okay, and the, um, the free samples that I got are Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I like to try this out. And Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. It also came with a sample of primer. I'm looking forward to that too. And some other stuff they tossed in here. So a packet of NARS primer. And a shampoo and conditioner packet. Okay, so finally that is it. I treated myself to things that I had been looking at for a while and wanting to try for a long time. So I feel good about that. And I'm excited to try all my new stuff. All right, so thank you for watching. Bye.